you can make this shit up right here, man. Goodness gracious, man. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. What's good with it, peace? What's good with it? This is your host, Musa Azakar, Break it if you like I always do. So please feel free. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. You know, hit that bell, man. You should be in that loop every time I drop the video. You know, I bring it 450 degrees, goddamn it, grease to your Mickey Ficky device. I always do. Yo, man, I got something I just came across. I had to, <laughs> I had to do a video of this. This is crazy shit right here. Crazy, man. You know, you got to really watch out for your identity. You don't know what people may do or people may be vindictive and get your information and use it against you now or later in life. So let's go ahead and cook on this right quick. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh yeah, HBO, help your brother out. Get that cash app and that PayPal, you feel me? Do what it do. It only takes your finger. You know, use your fingers, use your icon, use that uh, application. <laughs> so let's cook. Let's cook on this, man. This had me tripping. This had me tripping. Oh, I meant to do so. I meant to cook on it yesterday, but I, I really didn't. A woman was charged with a felony. Not for killing nobody. Not not for stealing uh, 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 any big lump sum of money. Items, or, you know, TVs, whatever. No, for not returning VHS tape. She found out 21 years later. Wow. Cameron McBride. claims that she rented a videotape 22 years ago and didn't return it. And the place been shut down for decades but they comes after her and charged her with a felony for a VHS tape that she supposedly uh, uh, rented. Right. The case was dismissed and expunged Wednesday. But Cam McBride is looking into legal options. It just hurts me tremendously and my family. It makes me madder and madder the more I think about it. <laughs> Yo, man, this is some crazy shit, man. Crazy. And she didn't find out about the outstanding warrant against her until she tried to change her name or her license after getting married and moving to Texas and from Oklahoma. When she emailed the Department of Motor Vehicles in November to set up an appointment as per COVID-19 protocols, she received a response on April the 16th that she had fixed an issue in her Oklahoma first. You know what I'm saying? In the email response, she was given a case number and the phone number to the courthouse. Ooh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I called her and the lady looked it up, referenced me and told me it was a felony embezzlement. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Oh, hey, man. Ooh, that's harder than a motherfucker. Harder than a motherfucker. But do me a favor, y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. Let me know what you think about this shit. Boy, that shit crazy. Peace.